hello guys welcome to this video how are you doing today all right this video is a one from gossip and prophet lovey elias as he tells um a scene that happened between him and his son and um uh, he also made mention that um this is him being envious and one story and lesson learned here is that it is actually good to make sure that what your parents couldn't give to you you give it to your children there are many families that the that what their parents parents couldn't give to them their parents gave it to them and what their parents couldn't give to them they want to make sure that they give it to their children as one of my friends will say or has said before that he does not come from a rich family but he will make sure that a rich family comes from him i will let you to listen to what um prophet lovey elias said in this video new to this channel do well to subscribe click the notification button and be part of the family he wants you to be in wealth not riches amen i will see you can spend riches wealth you can't more it's good so he wants you to be in what? Riches. No, no, no wealth, wealth. Sorry, sir. I looked at Charles Jackson. <laughs> I had to blame it on you. God wants you in wealth. Amen. God wants you in wealth. He wants you to have something that you will have, your children will have. You know, sometimes I look at my son Andrew and I look at the I look, I look at my other sons and I'm like, Tish, don't we look at these guys and we're like, dang, this these ninjas, if they only knew. I see Andrew waking up, going to my closet, looking at my watches. He's just speaking Rolexes. I'm like, hey, I didn't even know what that is. I'll sit with him. He'll be like, yeah, dad, you know, you need this car because this car, this, this. I'm like, you even have the test. Me, I just wanted to survive. If I can just have fufu for the night, I'm safe. I just need to eat. <laughs> if I can just eat, I'll be. That's all I just to see the next day. My guys talking about, yeah, you know, uh, yeah, Dad, can can I drive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you want to drive today? Okay, yeah, because I've been teaching him. Yeah, can we take the Lambo? I'm like, hey, you are learning how to drive. <laughs> you grab yourself. You say, hey, God. I'm actually envious. Why did you make me suffer? Look at this guy. You start saying, really, God, what you have done, you are really unfair in a good way. I remember one time we went to Miami together, me and him. And then we were coming back to all the flights. I don't know, there was a storm or something. Something weird happened with flights. So I was like, okay. I got a, a one, they, were, they had one first class ticket and then the other ones were economy. I was like, all right, can he be in first class and I'll be in economy, is fine. Because he, I don't even remember when he had done that. It's been so many years. And I'm not saying this in a bad way. Please, this is my testimony. If you don't like it, it's your problem. <laughs> Let me say what the Lord has done for me. Amen. Amen. So, so I'm. They're like, nah, he's a minor. He can't be up there by himself. I said, but I'll be in the flight. They said, no. I said, all right, my guy. So I had to give him a pep talk and be like, Andrew, <laughs> because the last time he was in that was probably when he was six. Was the last time, right? Around six. Yeah. It was like Las Vegas, right? Yeah, it would be even younger then. So I was like, okay, my guy, we're going to sit in economy. He's like, no, nah, dad, this is cool. This is fine. Why don't you tell me? Because, you know, I always forget because my instinct is to always protect the children. So I was like, ah, no, 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 it's, it's, it's fine. Cool. I was like, oh, what? Dad, come on, man, I'm African. I was like, ah, okay. <laughs> All right, my guy. <laughs> so we sit. Dang, I'm like... He used to be very comfortable. God, you've really changed. My son sat there and you know my son looked at me and said, Dad, this is good because it reminds us of where God took us from. Amen. Our children will be reminded of what we suffered. Amen. But they will never be part of our suffering. Amen. Because
because what is inside of us has become their inheritance and what was normal to us is abnormal to them amen is abnormal to them it's just yeah we used to be in that place but it's no longer their reality Thank you.